Well, the Chicago Bears are hoping their new stadium concept will be a touchdown with fans. And we're getting a first look at their plans for development in the northwest suburbs and what would be built around that new stadium. Casey Cronus live in Arlington Heights with the latest. Casey. Corey and Natalie, if the team moves forward with purchasing this 326 acre property that is now Arlington Park, fans can expect much more than a stadium. Today, the Chicago Bears outline their plans if they close and move forward with developing this property. Their vision is to create an entertainment district, much like what other pro teams across the country have done. They plan to build an enclosed dome that would accommodate major events like the Super Bowl. Bowl. And surrounding the stadium, restaurants, hotels, retail spaces, and parks would keep fans entertained. The team says it wouldn't seek public funding for the new stadium structure, but would for other parts of the project. Tonight, the group Americans for Prosperity Illinois is submitting a petition and signatures to the Arlington Heights Village Board, calling for an ordinance that would restrict the village from using taxpayer funded subsidies to entice the bears into making the move. Meanwhile, other residents say this would be a big win for the community and the economy. I think it's important for the Bears and for the village of Arlington Heights. Out of it, we get multiple events, which I think will put Arlington Heights on the map in a way that other communities haven't. I think it is going to go ahead. I keep my fingers crossed. It'd be great, but it would be a chance maybe to see him a little bit more because it's closer. And you can learn more directly from the Bears this Thursday at an informational community meeting taking place at Hersey High School from 7 to 9 p.m. The public will be admitted on a first come, first served basis. Reporting live in Arlington Heights, Casey Cronus, Fox 32, Chicago.